Bon Swatamon. Let me turn on the light, child. Okay. Wearing Puka jeans from Diesel, I'll never need you. This is a sequel. I'm Max Keeble. I'm representing for the black people. So, real quick. Oh, it's Monday. Okay. Welcome to an episode of Pop Shop, where I show you what I just bought for the best boy. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a Friskies meaty bits and prime fillet shortage. And I don't understand it because I think they only have the pate. I don't know when they finna tell people that cats do not eat pate. Pate? Yeah, pate. Oh, I was thinking pate. No, but I do mean pate. So, they just had the pate and I was in a pet smart for like 30 minutes, okay? Could not find any. So, because I couldn't find any and all the other brands had pate, I really had to look. So, this time we're trying the Hill Science Diet Savory Salmon Entree. For adult cats, one to six, he doesn't like like too many, too much repetitiveness, repetitivity. I think with the flavors, and since I couldn't mix and match the flavors, or even get the variety bag or whatever box, I just. Got a whole bunch of the same ones because, child, we are low on funds. So, I'm finna pack these real quick and then I'll show you what else I got. So, a little bit of ASMR for the girls. So now that those are in, we also got him, hi Poppy, four of these Friskies Little Soups uh, with tuna in a velvety chicken broth. And I'm thinking that I can do like, and then of course we have his, he already knows, he knows the vibes, his choo choo chicken, oh so sorry Poppy. His Choo Choo's Chewy Chicken Recipe. I recommended this to this older man today because he was looking for soft, chewy food for his cat. And I was like, oh, yeah, my cat got one, too, so I got you all the soft and chewy, okay? And last but not least, we got him some hairball, butt, hairball bites. I remember, well, remember I was using the, was it True Nature? True True, I don't remember. But I was using this brand that had it pumpkin flavored, and he really liked that one because um, it was easy to break up and put in the mix or whatever. So this is what she's looking like. She's not as full as I want her to be, as she usually is, but Pop just has to understand that his mama is doing the best that she can with what she has, okay? Oh, not him trying to get in the box. Excuse me, you will have true choose later. All right, so let me tell y'all how my reading is going, okay? So it is the 6th of December and I've already read two and two thirds, two and, three-fourths of a book I'm almost done I, of what I read The Maidens and The Silent Patient both by Alex Michaelides I read The Silent Patient um to finish up my December TV I'm at my November TV hour because I, I had already started it and then and then when I finished The Maidens it was imperative for me to go back and read the silent patient I'm still so shook okay so now I'm reading girls of storm and shadow right by Natasha sorry come on pop at this point you're showing off yeah girls of storm and shadow by Natasha again um y'all know I take my dust jackets off every time so it's right there I'm looking right at it so it's not damaged or anything so yeah this is the second book to the girls of paper of paper this is the second book to the girls of paper and fire trilogy it's so good y'all I read I started it on Saturday and I got to like page three three fourteen three eighteen on Saturday 
child it was like an eight hour shift i was just reading it's so good and i should be done by now but i'm not so as soon as i'm done that i'm about to finish it i'm going to go into excuse me papa uh, Sarah Rowley's Fate of Flames, the first of the Effigy series. This is not for the uh, Reindeer Readathon, but my partner in crime, Michelle, she. Literary crime, because I'm not trying to incriminate us, okay? She is still reading Girls of Storm and Shadow, so. Before we continue with our Reindeer Readathon books, I told her that I would wait for her to finish Girls of Storm and Shadow. And while I wait, I will read this. It oh, y'all, I have to show y'all my planner for next year. First of all, if you know me, oh, you know I love a happy planner. Like, this is my favorite planner. Like, on the face of god's green earth yes you want pets you want my lap ow i don't like you can't <laughs> hi poppy you want to sit um you can't i don't know i don't know like you don't think the difference like you don't think the difference is that deep until you switch to it like i don't know that's the best way I can explain it. And that's not giving what it's supposed to give. But anyway, let's go through this real quick. January, it says speak good things to yourself. So here's what I'm talking about. It's like this. So instead of it being like Sunday, Monday, to, or like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's just this way. I like it because... I don't know. Like, you get the same amount of space for every day. It's just always kind of low-key bothered me that the weekends have less space. Because the weekends, I need more space because that's when I need to get more things done. Like, I don't know. And, um, I don't know how I feel about the line drawn. Ooh, says, let's root for each other and watch each other grow for May Women's History Month. Very inspiring. Um... So, I don't know about the line. Well, I do like the line because I use the passion. I use the passion planner this year, not as much, not as much as I should have. But I definitely the passion planner was definitely my planner. Um. Oh yeah, and then at the end of each month, it has like a quick glance for your next month. My bad. I should have said that. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm reading to the kids in pre K. I'm screaming. Oh, this is beautiful. I saved all the pictures that Happy Planner uses. All the pictures are beautiful. And I actually saved the pictures from my last planners because I'm going to, like, make a collage and, like, incorporate them into my vision board somehow for next year. So, it says, plant dreams and grow a happy life. This is beautiful. This is the aesthetic I aspire to have at my new place. And then December, like, women empowerment, black women empowerment. Oh, this says, amazing things happen. When you're kind on the top. I don't think y'all can see that, child. But that's what it says right here. It's like a little halo. Oh, my gosh. This girl right here look like my my um, my friend Ariane. She's so beautiful. Anyway. Boom. You see? Amazing things happen when you're kind. Anyway. Literally my motto. My words to live by. Uh, which ones? Here he comes. Which ones have you tried, Poppy? We tried the purple one. Right? The purple one was salmon. I know. you like another hmm. pop why are you taking it out of my hand just to go drop it by my feet what in the Ruth and Boaz is going on here goes your last one for now no don't go towards the bag no papa it's right here Thank you. Bone, swat to moon, sorry, y'all. Y'all, I went into connect. Woke up at like 717. It was 1919 because I've been seeing a lot of double numbers. Y'all, 
I want to. I just want to go feed Pop, right? Remember when I told y'all I was in there in PetSmart for like 20, 30 minutes because I was looking for food and gravy and literally all they had was pate, right? While I go to open his food, I remember I got the savory salmon dinners or whatever. It's pate. It's all pate. I'm so upset. But he eating that joint up, so... He might like it. It's good, Papa? Okay, I'm gonna let you eat now. What I'm gonna do right now is finish this. I'm almost done. Literally, I didn't read any because I was asleep, but I have like 75 pages left. I'm almost done. Uh, you just sneezed or what? So yeah, I'm just about to stay here and finish my book and then get some work done. I'll be right back with a book update. Trust me, trust me, trust me. See you soon. I don't know, Ren's been getting on my nerves. My world closed down and I felt like. Hmm. Someone that I cared about, I thought I cared about me, didn't. Hmm.
hello so it's 2222 10 10 10 no girl 10 22 whatever child it's 10 22 i finished girl of storm and shadow like 10 minutes ago and i am broken which is fair to expect the person that i should have been mad at the benedict arnold of the group he was going through it so i couldn't really even be mad at him for real but definitely when i reread it i know what to expect and that person will get as much as he deserves you feel me okay so i just you know came on the bed to chill with pop because he was just chilling on the edge of the bed and i was lonely so now i have some my onboarding stuff that i said i was gonna get done earlier which i didn't get done because i was asleep <sighs> i'm gonna work on my onboarding stuff for like 40 minutes go to sleep wake up by like mm, six and finish everything else that i didn't finish if i didn't and um yeah, I don't, I don't really have anything else to say. Pop is enjoying the pate so far. He did go back for some, for seconds. So I think that I'll be good on pate for a while. And I remember starting to tell y'all that um, Target was out of his regular food. And then I went to PetSmart, which is like right there. And they were out of his food too. And when I went to go asking him back because last time I bought him food, they didn't have the variety back, um, the variety box they had. Oh, boom. So when I went to go ask for help, she, I was like, dang, y'all finna make me go to Petco. And she was like, yeah, but it's, ooh, ooh. Hi, puppy. Hi. She was like, yeah. <laughs> Are you sitting? And she was like, yeah. There's none at Target. She was like, yeah, I just... They can't control what they get when. But she was like, yeah, we've just been out. Gotta promote your friends. Bone YouTube Moon. Okay, lighting. Dang. Oh, I look good in this light. Anyway, y'all, it's 9:30. And y'all probably wondering, Miss Jeff. That's what my students call me. Miss Jeff, why are you still in your car? And I would say, because I'm home. Miss Jeff, why are you home? Because I had to come back home. Because I still have some paperwork to do and I thought all my paperwork was up to date because that was the paperwork that I used to submit for my uh, field experience because it's like because my field experience it has like it has to be within like five years or something but for my work for my job because I work at the same place now they want <clears throat> the papers to be within the year and I think they're like a year and a half so they were like you can stay and shadow a teacher or you can just leave today and get all your work done so you can start fresh tomorrow because they just need um a few more things so that i can be put in the system or whatever like my email setup this is a new job so that's why everything's like a little frantic a little more, bit more hectic so i was like we can just start fresh on thursday i'm gonna take today and tomorrow to well not tomorrow because tomorrow i have something else planned that i guess we can get into tomorrow but i decided to just come home get stuff done get the rest of my work done anyway i'm gonna call her and book my appointment for Monday, the Monday before my birthday. But just because I don't got a retwist does not mean my hair has to look this crusty and busty, okay? Hello? Hey, Jeff. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you? 
I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I will. Are you open on Mondays? Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, can you put me in for January third, please? January third. Mm hmm. That's right before my birthday. Okay. Hold on. January third, Monday. Okay. Everybody at eight thirty. Mm. You have anything in How the early afternoon? can you come in? Do you have anything in the afternoon? Afternoon what time? Like after two? Uh, you know, I had to leave at the four to pick up my kids. Can we do one thirty? Damn. Yeah. Um Nah, you could put you could leave it in the morning. Eight thirty is fine. Eight thirty? Mm-hmm. Yep, I'll put you down at eight thirty on the third. Okay, I just need, well, it's going to be a long day, Awa. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to come earlier, because I know you need the upper side of vinegar, right? I need, I need a rinse, I need a dye, I need a retwist, and I'm going to need a style. I need everything. Okay, so we 830 should be fine then. Okay. All right. All right, I'll call you if anything you changes. Morning. Thank you. No problem. All right, bye-bye. Bye, girl. Period. Okay. So, speaking of, let me shameless plug real quick. If you are in the Philadelphia area, the Northeast, I guess, um, and you need you braids, you need you twists, you need you a retwist, you need you apple cider vinegar rinse, you need a dye, you need anything, okay? Go see my girl, I was, I was beautiful hair bar. I will leave the address. Well, maybe that, can I do that? Is that doxing? Child, anyway. I'm not going to do all that, but if you just Google I Was Beautiful Hair Bar, it'll tell you exactly where and who, and you'll see pictures. Yeah, she's been doing my hair consistently since, like, 2018. At this point, I'm rambling. I want to go see my cat, and I want to go take a nap, so... Ooh, bars. No, girl, not bars. Again, cats, nap, they do not rhyme. False rhymes, girl. False rhymes. Okay. See y'all in a bit. See y'all in a bit. Bone swatted moon. Okay, it is two. It's two thirty-three. I have to step out. Have to go to the post office for my dad, and then I have to come back down my way, obviously. And before I get my house, I have to go to the Dollar Tree and see about cat food. Remember how last night I was telling you I was gonna start Fade of Flames? What was that this morning? last night um no because that's actually not part of the reindeer readathon that's just supplemental reading well it's on my winter reading but anyway um michelle finished with girls of storm and shadow before i got a chance to start it so we rolled again and now we're on neon gods by katie roberts the hades and persephone retelling yes and i think i'm also going to i don't know why i'd be zoomed in i'm also going to get extra points in listen to the audiobook version just because I think I want to finish it tonight and on the audiobook on two speed it only take like five hours like less than six hours so <clears throat> um, that way I'll be able to get extra points that time almost done on my Santa Claus not clauses my bonus joints yeah so I'm gonna go to the USPS and then come back and get cat food honestly I think it's family dollar it's one of them. We're going to see together. Be right back.
Don't just it moon. Okay, y'all. Let me walk to my car because it's 7.04 and I'm literally four minutes late. Waking up at 7, leaving at 7.30 did not work. 7.15 did not work. So I said, let me try to leave at 7. It's 7.05. One, I did not vlog yesterday. Y'all always know that is, y'all not always know, but all the times I've been vlogging and not posting, I've like literally missed one day. So yesterday was my day, okay? Um, yesterday was hectic and honestly, I should have vlogged because, okay, boom. So today I have to go to work. I was up to like 12.30 last night submitting my final, my performance improvement plan for school and that took a little longer than I, not expected, I, it took as long as I, as it should have. So yeah, I didn't fall asleep till like 1.30 in the morning, woke up at 6.30, Pop was like nowhere to be found all night, I would wake up sporadically and he would just be nowhere to be found. And I just don't know what he was out doing all night downstairs. But yes, I'm reading Neon Gods like I told y'all. I'm currently on chapter, I told y'all this Tuesday, I think. I'm on chapter four. And I've decided to audiobook this one. So I'll be able to get my Christmas Carol's points as well as my Cupid's points. Period, y'all. I'm really out here killing it, yo. Like, and I just gotta go submit my points. Oh my gosh, I'm out here killing it. But um, I'm gonna go to Wawa and get me a coffee. That's really why I left early because I wanted to make sure I had time to get coffee and beat the get in the school traffic. So I'm gonna go get my coffee and yeah, that's all. See y'all soon. Boom, Jutun Moon. Okay. <laughs> so y'all wonder why I'm so excited. First of all, I shouldn't be because my lips are dry. Let's try. I'm bad. Oh, child. Yes, I'm glistening. Okay. Oh. So, I bought a stick slip, stick pad dash. What the heck? What's it called, child? The, I shouldn't be reading and driving. A stick grip, a slick grip, a stick grip mat Um, for my dashboard. So, now my camera won't go all everywhere when I'm driving. Won't need to do a holy loop. I left my house today at... 6.55 I wanted to leave at 6.45 I was close but I had to look for my keys um and I got to Wawa at 7.10 right I left Wawa at like mm, no I lied like 7.15 I left Wawa at like 7.25 almost 7.30 child I've been sitting in this traffic for like 10 minutes and it's not even far like I'm literally the where I'm going is right there I can see it it's at the light I'm turning at the light but you know parents are dropping their kids off so everybody is here at this time but rewind which is why bars which is why I left at 655 because I know it takes like 10 15 minutes just on this these four lights or whatever and this whole week I've been getting there like 8 and school starts at 745 first of all homeroom starts earlier than that because you have to be homeroom starts at 720 so I think I think something like that so I can't be getting there at 8 I think though if I leave 10 minutes early or so 6.45, maybe this won't be as bad. I don't know, man. All I know is that if I leave before 7, I get here before 7.45. Child, not me rambling. Okay. Oh my gosh, first of all, sir, this is not your life. I'm about to leave me a sign up please. All right, so let me tell y'all about my reading or my listening. Cause y'all know I was supposed to be listening to Neon Gods, but my AirPod, my left AirPod went missing on Wednesday. Not missing, I just left it home so I couldn't bring it on Thursday. But that meant I only had one AirPod and 
it died so I couldn't really listen and yesterday I was at work I don't know that's my excuse I did not do any listening much listening yesterday uh, I think I did a little listening while I was driving I'm still on like chapter four almost done chapter four so um, I have like three minutes left oh Oh, it's 741. That means about to give you a good kiki and it's almost time for me to go, child. Yeah, so today's goal is to finish the book up, child. And I'm, I have my mama's BJ's card because I have to go to BJ's after work to see if I can find Pop's food. We are still on the hunt, child. What, no, Wednesday I checked Walmart. Yesterday I checked the Target by where I work. And I've also checked the Petco completely out. So my dad's like, go to BJ's because literally Pop is not eating. Like yesterday, the food that I put for him yesterday, I woke up this morning and he still has some there. I had I had two Friskies tuna fillets left and he and I put that in there for dinner and he ate all that but left the rest of the earlier food or whatever so I put in some older food not older food but some other food that I had that my dad was just like it's too small but I know he really likes those it's the fancy feast petite portions whatever so I put in two of those by the time I finished getting dressed at 30 minutes he ate all of it so I put in more for him because um those are a little bit difficult to open and um I'm really like the only person who can open them and I will not be here at his feeding time so after work we finna go to bj's and we're gonna we're still on the hunt i don't know what to do but yeah let me go inside i gotta go downstairs outside inside i'll talk to y'all later bone swatted mom child zoomed in per usual to end this vlog i will tell you that after five days and seven retail stores The Great Gravy Adventures has come to a close, child. Oh, Lord. Okay, Bob. Okay. So, went to BJ's and I found the Gravy Pleasers. It has 48 cans. So, he be, he'll be good for like two weeks. And you may ask what I'm going to do with the old food, but... I don't ever throw my old food away. My my uncle has a cat and he is not picky. He'll eat anything. So whenever I buy a new food for Pop and he doesn't like it, I just know I can give it to them, to him because he'll eat anything. So a little bit more ASMR for the girls. This vlog had a lot of ASMR in it, I know, but I'll just be taking out the ones that Pop will not be eating, replacing them with his usual and hopefully he'll start eating again child because this is ridiculous oh no Now you're excited about your food. Simply ridiculous.
but it doesn't last that time. This is fun. <clears throat> so now that that's done, before I close for real, I went to Five Below to get some fidget toys because I'm a child. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I got this soft and slow squishies, but basically it's just. Hi. You just squeeze it. That's it. Don't do nothing else. And the pops are various sizes. It's an elephant. Which, if you didn't know, is my favorite animal. Pop keeps coming over here because he thinks it's snacks. But, yeah, it's just a little elephant. Yeah, a papacado. It's just a little thing. And then a the little um avocado pit comes out. Ugh, it's so cute. But I don't know, it's just something about these squeeze ones and the pop ones. The pop ones have a good sound. And these squeeze ones, I don't know. It's just, ugh, I wish I, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I did not get any reading done, but I will finish Neon Gods by Sunday, this weekend. And then I will come back on Monday with a new book to read yes y'all i'm so tired please excuse me uh that is all i have for y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have to go because i clearly have more books to read um it is friday night so i will say this to all my seventh day adventists and uh any seventh day worshiping people i will say happy sabbath and i'll talk to y'all later Bye.